Hey guys, Steve from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena here. I wanted to do another quick video just to show you guys some changes that have happened between yesterday and today. I uh, was able to add 10 more systems. This is one here. That's one too. And thanks to Crash Override, the N64 is now working as it should be. I added Pico 8. PC Games is actually the wrong listing. It just simply doesn't have... Um, a proper theme icon yet. It's actually tick 80. This also makes it easy for people to write their own little mini games or games like this in pretty simple language. Give you guys a quick look at what's in here. DOSBox isn't quite ready yet. It works, but um, unless you have a game, like there's no keyboard, so unless you have a game that just boots right into the game, the game won't work. If you have to enter something, it's not going to work. So, like, this will work because it boots right into the game. We've added this as well. Commodore 64 is here also. I think I went past that one already. You gotta push the top couple buttons, L and R, to get through the menu there, and then it boots the game. Uh, this button's a virtual keyboard in this emulator, or core, I should say. I went through and I grouped all the similar systems together, so PC with PC, Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega, Sega. As I stated, Nintendo 64 was fixed by Crash Override. I'll show you that quickly as well. It's me, Mario. I'm over here. Uh, even though we're on Ubuntu 20, the joystick. You push it all the way, and it doesn't move the opposite direction. Everything's fine. Sufami's been put back. Satellaview is working again. Almost everything except for uh, PSP, MSX, and N64 are going through... Retro Arch here because of net play and because of the Retro Arch menu, people seem to really like that. So, I wanted as many emulators to have access to it as possible. As you can see, the joypad's now properly configured, and Retro Arch is 190. And one other thing I wanted to show quickly, which I'll have to actually launch a game that uses Retro Arch for, so I guess anything would work. Let's go with that. The, um, the screen ratio is working, so you can... One of the other main reasons I wanted to put things through RetroArch is because you're not forced to use one ratio. You can pick whatever you want. So you go here and you go to Scaling. You see how it's Custom, 854 by 480, because that's the size of the screen. But you could also go 1-1. One, one. You could make it anything you want, really. As you can see, it's changing sizes behind. So that's a feature that I really like. Uh, I fixed the Wi-Fi. Well, I didn't fix. I just swapped the file out for the Wi-Fi as well. So now this is full screen instead of being in a box in the corner. Scum VM is working. ColecoVision is set up to now use um, RetroArch as well.
Now this emulator is confusing. It's like the other one. You have to press a couple of the buttons. You press the... See that does that. And this one brings up a menu here. So if I want to go... Hold that down. Maybe hold that down. And it'll bring that up. It works, I just don't know how to use it is all. This isn't an emulator I really play with. Or a system, I should say. But, nonetheless, it does work fine. I'm just really bad at playing it. So that's about what I wanted to show you guys for now. Uh, all these things you see have been tested and are working. So that puts the current total at 70. And the only thing that's really missing is Nintendo DS. That's not working yet. It works on the Odroid Go Advance, but because of the new screen and the ratios not being ready yet, or set up properly yet, it uh, kind of gets distorted. Also, because of the larger screen, I went through and took a look, and some of the <clears throat> themes that we were using on the other Odroid devices actually work here, such as this. So there's a couple things that aren't added, but uh, as you can see, with the new screen, these pictures actually look really good. And so it supports not just the... i got to find one where I got the... There we go. When you have something scraped and you have the box art too, it also does the synopsis of what the game is in the corner too, which I thought was really cool. So anyways, that's where the build is going. We're at uh, 70 systems, as I said, still working on Nintendo DS. Everything else seems to be working fine. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.